Hello everybody, this is EK here with another video game review and today we are going to be talking about the newest Final Fantasy XV. Final Fantasy XV has been a long awaited game from Final Fantasy fans. Originally it was a spin-off uh, off of uh, Final Fantasy XIII known as Versus. However, Squee Square, Enix, Squee Square Enix decided to change direction due to Final Fantasy XIII's multiple sequels already, and they have revamped it to now what we know as Final Fantasy XV. This review is going to contain spoilers, so you have been warned. Alright? Cool. First off, let me say that I think this is a really great game, What and what it is trying to do. Square Enix has stepped out of its comfort zone from turn-based system to what is now a more of a hack-and-slash type battle system. As such, the typical magic casting system has been revamped as well to a crafting method where players can experiment with different spells that have a variety of attributes and even combining some. Um, how, how a character's level has also been changed as well to where experience points are now collected and not applied to your character right away. So they're applied after you rest. Another new feature is the Ascension Grid. Very similar to the Sphere Grid in Final Fantasy X, each sphere can be unlocked using ability points that's acquired in various ways throughout the game. Visually, Square Enix upholds its reputation for having some of the best graphics in the industry. I mean, the environments are lush, and scenery is absolutely breathtaking. There's, there's no other game as good looking as Final Fantasy XV right now. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. But with so many features, or new features of the game, does it actually work? Yes and no. So, the new battle system lets players be a lot more interactive, interactive with the main character. And it fits perfectly with the warp abilities. You know, for a guy that can bring up weapons out of thin air and then teleport to them as he throws them, you don't want to be standing behind a turn-based system. You want to be in there, active, and hacking and slashing away. However, because of this new system, you are only limited to just playing with Noctis and uh, the other three characters, Gladius, Ignis, and Prompto, they pretty much fall to the wayside and you only control them via the tech bar. So that's kind of a bummer. Uh, with the new magic system, you're extremely limited to the kinds of spells now. You're pretty much limited to three elements with some variation of adding different attributes like poison or like uh, other little... The down buffs, I mean debuffs that you can throw on there, but you no longer have spells like Ultima, Haste, Regenerate, Holy, or Darkness, or something like that, and a number of other spells that are, you know, that used to be very key to the Final Fantasy world, but they're just no longer there. Um, you know, and it's kind of funny because it's the, uh, at least the Lucians are the one country that can control magic, so it seems like they can't control a lot of the magical part. Um, leveling your character in this game has never been easier. I mean, out of every Final Fantasy game I've ever played, I can say that this is the easiest to level up ever. I mean, thanks to all of the different accelerators and boosts um, the developers put in, there's a, there's a less of a grind for experience. You know, thanks to YouTube, I was able to gain 40 to 50 levels in a matter of 3 to 4 hours. Normally, that would take me about 3 to 4 days um, to, to get that type of, you know, experience. But because of all this, like, co cool stuff, I was like, oh, I can just eat something and go to this hotel. And then it gets me 3x amount of um, experience. So it's ridiculous. Um, however, there is a huge grind for ability points for your Ascension Grid. You know, while there are numerous ways to get ability points, the quicker, the quickest way is still quite long. Um, by the time I beat the game, I had about maybe 85 to 90% of the grid filled out. Uh, the majority, though, of the remaining were at least 300 points or more. So I would, I think I calculated and I would have needed at least 20,000 or so points um, to fill out the rest of it. Um, the best I could do in terms of farming AP was about a thousand or so an hour. So that meant I'll ha I'd have to be grinding for a long time to get all those points. So, and I was just not about to do that. Um, and some of the best things are at that level. So it's it's kind of ridiculous in terms of how much you have to grind for that. There's no accelerators. There's nothing to really help you boost 
um, how how much of that stuff like you can get. So that's kind of a bummer, and I and I wish they they will change something uh, with that or somehow just gain more ways to gain ability points. Like for example, when you cap out at 99, like you gain ability points every time you level, but when you cap out at level 99. You know, you no longer gain any more points, or at least you don't apply it to get more levels. So, I wish you can turn those experience points into ability points. You know, say like every ten thousand or something like that gives you one point or something like that. So at least it, when you gain all that experience, still, you're, you're it's not going all to waste somewhere. You know, and I wish that was the case. Um, another downfall of the game is that there's content that's only assess accessible after beating the game. The reason I'm not a fan of this is because Final Fantasy has always had everything in the game available as you played. You know, it was up to you, a player, um, if they wanted to get everything before completing the game. Because typically, Final Fantasy games are pretty much over once the story ends, right? There's really not a lot to go back on. Um, in Final Fantasy X, you know, I can get Titus and like Wakas, everyone's, you know, uh, ultimate weapons before going in and fighting Jet and stuff, right? And fighting Sin. But I can't do that here. I have to complete the game, go back, kill everything, or I kill all these dungeons and then get the game. And I can like redo the you know last mission again, but I would rather have all the best stuff on me and just kind of blow through the end. Like as if like I was just totally like way overpowered. But that's just me though. Um so but I, I no I think the, the problem here is that um, Square is trying to introduce more post-final boss gameplay in their traditional Final Fantasy games. But withholding the strongest weapons and items is ridiculous. Like I think to me, like they should add on other stuff that you can get, but you don't have to get. Like, you know, say there's a special sword out there that's equivalent to the best sword, but... You know that, and you, know, you can get because it was like Noctis's dad's or something, right? Or maybe you can now get um, all the weapons that Arden had and whatnot. So um, things like that, like they should put that in, but they shouldn't put it in after the game is done. Um, or they should put things after the game is done that it's things that you don't necessarily need or um, specifically would want before the game ends. Um, but overall. I can say that I really, really, really enjoy the game. Um, and I definitely like the story better than Final Fantasy XIII. Um, and Square is moving in a direction I really, really like. You know, they did a lot of new things with this game. And it's moving in the right direction where they're trying to innovate. They're trying to give something users like aren't used to. So I can really, really appreciate that. Um, just for this game, you know, the execution was a little blotchy. But overall... I was very satisfied with it. You know, I've been playing Final Fantasy games since Final Fantasy VI, or it was three when I was released on the SNES over in America. So, um, you know, I was like, psh, what, like five, ten years old back then? Like, I don't even know. I mean, but I was like playing that as Terra, right, as the main character when they first introduced Wedge and Biggs and stuff like all that. So I've been, uh, you know, I haven't, I'm not that old, but I've been around for a lot of Final Fantasy games. So it's nice to see how they're doing new stuff here unlike other franchises where it's essentially the same game every year they just reskin it over and over and over again uh, but yeah you know it's a great game there's a lot of product placement which i found hilarious like the Nis nissan um ramen noodles the coleman um if you watch the kingsglaive movie there's audi everywhere and if you look at all the billboard there's like turkish airlines there's all these so much product placement it's shocking how much advertisement is in this final fantasy game and it's it's really comical to me but whatever it's not a big deal it's not like i'm gonna go out and buy coleman products now or something <laughs> but you know it, it's it's cool and all so yeah anyways that's my thoughts on the game let me know what you guys think of this game in the comments give this video a like if you like what you're seeing here um yeah comment subscribe um and give a video a like and i will talk to you guys later